Welcome to the online component that's taking the place of Tuesday's class. This class will be on finding reliable research. First, we will start out on how to recognize whether an article is reliable or not. Then, we'll go ahead and go through UMSL's library and the My Gateway website to find reliable articles. And lastly, we will take a reliable research article and look at the different components of it that make it reliable. We'll look at the RSVP, the effect size, and the integrity of the article. All of these things will then be utilized to write your research paper. Good luck and happy writing. If you need any help or have any questions, please do not hesitate to call, email, or text me. Thanks. Have a great week. The first part of finding reliable resources is knowing what a reliable resource is. There are three types of reliable resources, peer-reviewed journals, peer-reviewed articles, and PhD or MBA dissertations and papers. Go ahead and click the link for peer-reviewed education journals. Here, you will find a list of peer-reviewed education journals. All of these journals on this list are peer-reviewed and therefore should be reliable resources. There is also a link to this list in the class content for this week. What does it mean to be peer-reviewed? The long and the short of it is that a board of scholars in the subject area must review all materials to make sure that the research is of good quality and adheres to ed editorial standards of the journal. So basically, in order to get a research paper published in a peer-reviewed journal, it has to be reviewed before getting accepted. sources in the table may not always be reliable sources. URLs with the .edu, .org, or .gov endings may have political biases or agendas. Proceed with caution. Look and see if the only articles that are on the website specifically deal with and help to back what the main organization's goal is. In terms of online journals and mag magazines, most of these are not peer-reviewed. Therefore, the sources should include a scholarly bibliography in order to be reliable. And lastly, news sources like online newspapers, online journals, or even online news videos are primarily there to entertain its public. So these should be used not as reliable resources, however, but as stepping stones to find more reliable sources. Go ahead and click both of the links. First, click the Inside ADHD Scholastic Teacher link. This will bring you to an article about ADHD. Once you are through reading that article, please come back to the PowerPoint and click the Academic Strategies for Children with ADHD link. Then read this article. When you are done, I want you to decide which one of these articles is peer-reviewed and therefore reliable. Also, you can find both of these articles linked in the class content folder for this week.